Hello everybody and welcome back to FS11. A uh, little bit of uh, an opinion uh, segment here for you on tractors. Um, the big, the fancy, the uh, expensive ones, let's be honest, they're not the best at all. Oh my gosh, this little Lizard 422, as far as I'm concerned, that is where you should be. You should use that tractor, right, from the start until you can buy these, the 1500 TVLs. Uh, look at the stats, max power, horsepower, right, boom. These are 37,000 each, okay. This guy, 86. 35, 35, 90. You can damn near get two of the others before you can get one Agro Plus 77. And that's not a good tractor. It's fast, but you got to put a weight on the front even to run, you know, kind of some small tippers, right? Uh, to run this guy, forget it. Uh, this is your cedar run this cedar you better have uh, a barrel weight on the front okay that little tractor I mean I ran it for the longest time just bombing across the field with the um, with the uh, with the trailers with the small and the medium tippers it worked yeah not a problem I'm not saying it's terrible I'm just saying for the for that kind of money you could actually have a decent tractor save yourself some money right especially if you're just starting out um, most of my farm is powered by these guys um, that tractor is better than all these tractors this thing's supposed to be like you know the best of the best it's yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fast. They're hard to control. Personally, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying there's anything super bad with the X720 or the L720 or even the M620. The second set here are actually way better tractors than this first set. Boom, boom, boom. I don't care for that first set whatsoever. Those medium duty kind of tractors. Um, again, hundred $170,000, How many tractors can you buy? 37000 each for the price of one of those. I wouldn't buy the X720 again unless I absolutely had to have it. Like, I had to have a use for it. Um, these combines, I started with this guy and this guy. I bought some extra pack. But, uh, you know, like, those are great. Use them. But the very second you get money, skip that, it's garbage. Skip that, it's garbage. Go right here. Straight to the 7545. Okay, go to the 7545, get your 7545 corn header. You're like, ah, I can't do corn. Well, do you have a corn header on? Yeah, you have to have the corn header for corn. And then this other header does it, the wheat, the barley, and the cannoli. Okay, you ain't going to be able to do corn. So then here's the other fuck up I did. Oh, this thing says it does corn. That is not a combine. I wish they wouldn't have wrote it in here. I wish they'd have took this and put it down way under here and said, this is for whatever. Or put it in the miscellaneous here, where it belongs. That forager is not, not a combine. That forager will get you 
Oops, I can't get to it. That forager will get you that, um, what do they call it? Corn silage, okay? Nothing more, nothing less. Do not buy that fucking thing. Do not buy a forage harvester thinking that you will combine with it. You will not, okay? If I was starting this game today, I would use this lizard, okay? And that little cart, and that little tractor, and I would just hammer, hammer. Uh, I would take um, the sprayer, and every single time I planted wheat, spray before. Plant your wheat, harvest it, put it in the silo, okay? That silo, I have not found a capacity to have a million units in, in it on each of the four grains. I cannot find a limit. Okay. Look at your prices. Look at your prices here. The green arrow going up means the prices are going up. The red means they're going down. The yellow means they're staying flat, right? Wait until... Oh, shit, look at this. Canola. Six dollars. That's an excellent price. Six dollar canola is very good. Okay. Um, right? Start carton canola. For six dollars, start carton canola. Okay? Because you could sell it for three. But you could wait, and you could sell it for six and make double the money. Okay? If you're not broke, right? Silo the shit. Until, and start with a pen and paper. Okay? $29.90. All right. Uh, okay, yep, the price went up. Oh, yeah, that's the best price I've seen. Every time you see the best price that you've seen, go to your go to your silo and sell. Right? <laughs> but, yeah, the prices do come up to six. Um, the prices do go down to one. Um, but, yeah, just as soon as you actually can, sell these two. Buy the 75.45, okay? Um, as soon as you can, get a large tipper. Because that 75.45 is going to need the large tipper. Okay? Grab one of these. Grab one of these 1500s as soon as you can, okay? Next thing, the very second that you can afford it in your mind go to miscellaneous 1.2 million I'm telling you 1.2 million buy a wind mill stick it up in some mountain somewhere right sit back take your revenues Next chance you get, buy another windmill. Okay? Buy another solar collector. Okay? I was, I didn't want to touch it until I had 12 million. Since I've been installing these, I am, I have like 7 or 8, maybe 10. I sit and I do nothing. I gas up my tractors, I buy my seed. Literally, I have not put an ounce of grain into the mill, into the brewery, into anything in like three days. And my bank account, I'm, I know I made five million today in an eight hour stream. They're making money. They really do. It is a passive income that you don't have to touch. You don't have to maintain. Okay, these greenhouses, do the bees. You don't have to touch bees. You, you, you plant it and you leave. You plant that building wherever you want on the map and you leave. I plant it near my fields because, you know, bees got to go somewhere, right? Passive income. You don't have to touch it. Okay, cows, cows is not a passive income. 
Cows is very not a passive income. You start getting into cows, then you have to start getting into loaders, because you have to move the manure. And that's another thing you have to do. You have to start moving manure, <laughs> right? Um, you have to start uh, getting that uh, like a forage wagon, a forage trailer, right? So the forage trailer, you put a... Right here, you put a disc mower on the front. You come over here and you get a forage trailer, whichever one you want. It doesn't matter to me. Personally, get the cheapest one, right? 15000 for 60000 53000 for 100000 You know, kind of do your own math however you want to do it, right? Anyway, you... Um, you put the uh, the mower on the front and you turn it on. You press G, you turn on the forage wagon, and everywhere you mow, you're foraging. Back into your feeding trough, boom, dump it. There you go. You got that, right? Um, cows need feeding trough and they need silage, uh, corn silage they call it. So now, to get corn silage, you have to get that combine. And it's not a combine. The forage harvester. It makes the chopped corn for your... Sadly, it's what you have to do. But you don't have to... You don't have to get the corn header. And you don't have to waste your corn. Get this guy. Right? And just do the grass. But it counts. It counts as corn. I don't know. It's weird. It counts. That's all that matters. Okay. Um, the FAR M66. Do not. Under any circumstances. Zero. There is no reason to ever consider buying that. Don't. Even if you're bored. Don't. It is absolute garbage. To run the FAR M66, you have to use the wooden trailer, and I don't know how to unload the wooden trailer. It doesn't have a hydraulic to unload. That, skip it. It doesn't exist, right? This thing, skip it. It doesn't exist. The 5465, skip it. The 5695, skip it. It doesn't exist. The 7210, as soon as you get a chance, get rid of it. It's a great tractor, but get rid of it. Or put it to the side. I guess I'm not necessarily saying you have to sell these. The 58 and the 7210, I set them along my garage. If I get a field that I just want to passively do, a smaller field, I pull it out, no problem. But seriously, the biggest equipment that you can get, the sooner, the faster you're going to start making those millions. And the sooner you start making those millions, the sooner you can do wind and greenhouses. You spend a little bit of time doing the greenhouses, I understand, but it's basically passive income. Um, like I said, the wind and the solar. I can do nothing and make money. Um, square baler. Okay, so the square baler, the deal with that is the chaff from the barley and the chaff from the wheat, you can bale. Okay? When you get that square baler, you also, you don't have to, hey, you do what you want. But for me, I'm all about simple. And I hate running the loader. Hate it. Okay, people will say that you can take you can take this bale trailer and your loader and you can spade each one 
and set it on here and stack them all perfect and you can drive that to either the bio station up in the top left corner of the map or you can dump them in your own barn but you have to then unload those bales with a loader fuck that too much effort okay scroll down here scroll to somewhere and it's blue what the hell Charlie Brown I literally just lost it right here automatic bail loader you drive up to it it loads drive up to the next bale it loads at the end you drive over to the bio station you back in hit O the table unfolds hit O again it dumps your 24 bales into the pit you just got paid or you go over to your barn and you pull up right in front of it just as tight as you can to that conveyor belt and as straight and perfect up that ramp as you can and you hit the O boom the bales come out the first stack goes thunk 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 the first 12 hit against the second 12 boom up the ramp come around you put a shield on the front go in slow bump bump tap tap they're up the ramp 24 in like that second thing it works but it takes a little bit more time reality is it probably doesn't take as much time because you're not bailing first then picking them up then putting them in but option two you take the round baler and you go through the field okay and I only, I only do the fields close to home and the bio because I take this the round baler and I do the field when bail is a hundred percent I leave it in the baler I drive to the house I back up to the ramp going into the barn the barn buys your bales kick it open it goes up the ramp ching two thousand dollars in my bank account I go over to bio labs I back up to the pit open it up ching two thousand dollars in my bank account you want to make money fast get you a round baler you can pull this round baler with either the big red tractors or the little red tractor. Drive it over, dump it in. You don't even have to buy a bucket loader if you dump it directly from the unit directly to your house or the bio labs. And even if you miss, you take your little red tractor and you can push the bale around and up the ramp. It's crazy. It works. Um, there's a lot of things you don't have to buy in this game. But, uh, yeah. If every time you combine off a wheat or a barley field, because canola and corn doesn't give you the chaff that you need to do it, you do a wheat, you do a barley field, you bale, you get 2,000 for every big bale. Let's say even that, even that little plot... Um, uh, as you're going to the mill, it's the first one on the left side of the road from your house. That field uh, I did today 12 to 15 bales. I pulled off at rounds, drove over, did a line from one end to the other. A couple feet from the end of the line, the, bale, the baler was full. Drove the baler back to the barn, unloaded it right at the barn. Aim for the ramp, hit the button, the ejector kicks it onto the onto the rollers, boom, up the ramp. Come back, grab another line, go back, dump your bale. I mean, I'm just saying, you're making $2,000 a bale. $2,000 a bale, 
Uh, let's see, this thing cost uh, 112000 uh, I mean, it's not paying itself back fast, but if you're looking for money, it is a way instead of just plowing that chaff under. Doesn't count for fertilizer, the chaff. You still have to fertilize, and you've plowed it under. Yeah, that's just a couple things. Just remember that cows cows do make you money, a dollar a gallon, but you have to feed them. That takes time. Uh, if you're on a harder level or something like that, sometimes you do need to push rocks out of the overpass, the shortcut they call it, behind... Um, our house. There's a cut of grass gets you to the other end of the field. I just called the overpass or the shortcut. Right now on FS11 on easy mode, I haven't had to move rocks. Um, this thing, the F1, it doesn't do anything and eventually they give you one for free. Citizens of town just hand you one. Yeah. It doesn't, the sickle doesn't work on it. I haven't found a way to do it anyway. Like I said, that's a great tractor. Uh, these two are, meh. I wouldn't rush out and buy. Uh, the, the, the front loader forks and all that are super weird. Um, surprisingly, this, this one, the 72 horse, is a very actually decent tractor. It'll pull a lot of shit, like, that you, would, you wouldn't think would. But it does. It's, uh, it's actually a really decent unit. Um, there's actually a lot of videos that I'm intending to do, and by the time you guys see them, maybe you'll have already seen the videos before you even see this video. But, um... I really actually do like the little, the littler tractors, like this one, 75 horse D80, I actually really like that tractor. Um, I'm pulling, here, I'll show you what I'm pulling with that tractor. You guys are going to be like, what? Yeah. It pulls the 9 foot, here. Wrong one. Okay, that was the right one. Nine meter, there it is. This is the one. The nine meter, it pulls that. Like a boss, right? This thing? Yeah, this one, the D, the 9DC. The very second, right, that you can get this machine, get it. Don't hesitate. Don't think twice. Get it. Buy it. This is the best $97,000 you will spend in this game. Believe me, buy this. Instead of having to go through with the, with the disc, the cultivator, and then come back and seed this, this one, seeds and cultivates at the same time saving you time you don't have to do that function then that function it's in it's a two in one function right buy that i i got really into buying these well i okay i had that that's the start one then I bought that, and I was like, oh, this is so fucking nice. This is so much better of a machine. Then I bought this one, because I was like, oh, hey, holy shit. This is such a great machine. Way better machine. Heavy as fuck. You can't run that with a little unit. You, you pretty much have to front weight any green machine if you run the A301, okay? 
And I'm scrolling through here one day and I was like, huh. What the fuck is this? What the hell is that, man? <laughs> three point seed drill for 26.3? Well, I'll try anything. 26.3. Twenty-six. Forty-six. I can damn near buy two of those for this. Same price as this. Definitely one of those. Right? And it saves me labor. Okay? It drills. A.K.A. it cultivates and plants at the same time. Three meters. Okay? I loved those things. And the bots could do it. The AI. The guys you say hire, H, hire, boom. But then, but then, I was in here and I found. It was it the trailer section? No. I lost it. Implement section. Yeah, and then I found these bad boys. The nine meter. It plows, cultivates, seeds, all in one, by that unit. You're not hiring guys to run the plow in front of you seeding. The downfall is is that I haven't figured out how to make the hired hands do it, but it doesn't matter. He can run the combine and you can follow him on the DC nine. Um, these are just things that I'm, you know, relaying to you guys. I fully intend to make some videos and show you guys how this stuff works. I'm just also trying to do one video up front to save you money, save you time, save you the aggravation of trying to figure this shit out for yourself. I spent hundreds of hours. Oh, and save often. Oh my gosh, save often. Please hit that save button just as often as you can. 222 hours, 44 minutes. 17 hours. This session alone, I'm getting a little bit... But, um, you know, I, I'm going to go through all these pieces of equipment and actually show you how they work. But, that's the... That's the that's the nuts and bolts of it. That is what I know. Uh, check out my other videos. You you might find something that could save you some effort or some hassle. As always, I've been Gunmetal Engineer. Take care.